Hey readers, welcome back. Today we will be reading The True Francine by Mark Brown, an Arthur adventure. It was the first day of school. Everyone was worried about which teacher they would get. I hope I get Miss Sweetwater, said Francine. Anyone's better than Mr. Ratburn, said Arthur. He sleeps in a coffin, said Buster, and drinks human blood. A big black car drove up. Who died, said Francine. Maybe Mr. Ratburn, said Arthur. A girl got out. I'm Muffy Crosswire. Where's the third grade, antenna ears? Just ask for Mr. Ratburn, said Buster. They all laughed. Everyone read Mr. Ratburn's class list first. Francine groaned. Not Ratburn, shouted Arthur. Impossible, said Sue Ellen. In Mr. Ratburn's class, everyone sat in alphabetical order. No talking unless you raise your hand. Muffy was teacher's pet. Mr. Ratburn even believed her when she said the cat ate her homework. Francine always seemed to be in trouble, but Francine and Muffy were best friends. They both liked scary movies and pistachio ice cream. They even had the same middle name, Alice. Muffy called Francine Slugger. She was the best hitter on the softball team. Francine called Muffy Tinsel Teeth. Muffy went to Francine's to study for the big math test. Francine studied very hard. Muffy played with Francine's, Francine's gerbil and called strangers on the phone. Is your refrigerator running? Well, you better catch it. In the test, Muffy copied all Francine's answers, even the wrong ones. Mr. Ratburn called Muffy and Francine to his desk. Muffy smiled. I don't cheat, she said. What could Francine say? Francine, he said, I'll see you after school every day this week. The big softball game came against Miss Sweetwater's class was in three days. Excuse me. The big softball game against Miss Sweetwater's class was in three days. Francine, how could you do this to us, said Buster. Without you, we'll lose for sure. Every day after school, Francine cleaned the boards and watched the team practice. Boy, did they need help. Every day, Muffy waited for Francine, but Francine walked right past. Muffy couldn't eat or sleep. Should she tell Mr. Ratburn, Ratburn the truth? It was the day of the big game. Miss Sweetwater's class already had two runs when Muffy ran to find Francine. Help, we need you, said Muffy. Mr. Ratburn says you're up. Not unless you tell him the truth, said Francine. Well, put on your mitt, said Muffy. I already did. Francine saved the game with a home run. Everyone cheered and shouted, We're number one. We're number one. Muffy yelled, Yay, Francine. Way to go, slugger. Mr. Ratburn treated everyone to sodas at Billy's Burger Barn. This is the best chocolate soda I'd ever tasted, said Muffy. Hey, Muffy, how'd you like to play for the team, said Buster. Yeah, we have just the spot for you, said Francine. Not so fast, said Mr. Ratburn. Muffy will be washing the boards next week. Muffy whispered to Francine, what will I play? Scorekeeper, said Francine, but you better learn to add. And no cheating. The end. Thanks for reading The True Francine by Mark Brown with me today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.